All right, we're going to take our quick look at Google Earth on the new Motorola Zoom tablet running uh, the brand new Android 3.0 Honeycomb. Uh, the first thing worth noting about Google Earth on here is that the application wasn't designed with tablets in mind. I would expect Google's working on a version of it that does, but at this point it doesn't. Um, the good thing is that the way Honeycomb handles uh, phone-based applications is much better, in my opinion, than the way the I iPad handles iPhone applications. Uh, with some exceptions, of course. On the iPhone, when you uh, had an iPhone app that went on the iPad, it took the small app and just doubled the size of it, making it blurry but keeping things um, roughly the same size as they need to be. On here, it actually changes the size of the app to fit the screen, leaving everything real sharp inside of it but can have some elements look weird. A good example of that is TweetDeck, which is a great app, but now your tweets run the full length of the screen, which isn't ideal. So there another one I hope uh, builds a tablet-specific version soon. But in the case of Google Earth, it works very well. So we'll fire that up and take a look here. Um, and what you get, like I said, is a full screen, full quality. You have Google Earth running in the 1024 by, or the 1280 by 720 window, uh, as sharp as it could possibly be. Um, the controls are amazingly responsive. If you've used the Android or any of the newer um, Apple versions of it, I mean, one finger to drag around, two to zoom or to twist. You can also use two up and down to tilt your view. Um, the 3D terrain is all there. And as you can see, I mean, it's just super responsive, super sharp, looks gorgeous. They've done, I mean, again, it's translated onto the Zoom very well. The way Honeycomb handles these apps is phenomenal for apps like Google Earth. The problem that you have with other apps still exists here, though, where the compass in the corner is tiny. Um, and some of the other options, like if we go to the menu here to look at the layers, it's a little hard to choose some of those because you can see them and get it all the way across to match them up. So we could turn off, you know, Panoramio photos, Wikipedia, maybe the ocean, businesses, some of those to clean up the view a little bit. But again, I mean, they've done a remarkable job. I would hope, as smooth as this is, I mean, it's just buttery smooth, that they'll be able to add some more features when they build the tablet-specific version of it, um, which, again, I haven't heard they're building such a version, but I have to assume they are. Uh, but with the power behind this, with the dual-core chip and a gig of memory and stuff, I would hope maybe we can finally see some 3D buildings show up in here. So we'll keep you posted if we hear anything else, but there's your first look at Google Earth on the Motorola Zoom.